I'm here at St. Mary's Cemetery in Norfolk, standing in front of my grandparents' niche in the columbarium. When I interred my grandmother here, it was on a day like today, rainy, cloudy, chilly. I've been to this cemetery many times for several family members' funerals, and every time I visit, I remember those family members and family friends who have died, recalling their life and, too, their funeral. On November 2nd, the Universal Church celebrates All Souls Day. The celebration of all souls always follows the solemnity of all saints, which is normally a holy day of obligation. However, because November 1st is a Monday this year, there is no obligation to attend Mass. All saints and all souls are celebrated as the liturgical year draws to a close, and they both reflect the spirituality and prayer life of the very earliest Christian communities. These celebrations were in the early days of the church celebrations in memory of other Christians, members of the local body of Christ. These members were martyrs or leaders, local heroes and saints who would be remembered each year on the day of their death. The community gathered to celebrate how these women and men had brought others closer to Christ and how they still did through prayer. Additionally, these early feast days were a way of living a central truth of the Christian faith, that we are all part of the body of Christ. St. Paul strived to articulate this core idea in his letters that in Christ we become part of one body, so deeply connected to each other that even death cannot break the bond. As we do each year on November 2nd, we pray for those who have died, that they find rest and peace in God, and those great souls who have gone before us, they reach out in prayer and love to us as well. This profound belonging to Christ, our deep communion, that is what we celebrate. Though death seems to separate us, we gather to pray and remember all who have gone before us, and remember too that nothing separates us from the love of God in Jesus Christ. Please join me and our fellow parishioners and friends on Tuesday, November 2nd, for our All Souls Day Mass at 6.30 p.m. I look forward to being with all of you and joining together in prayer. God bless.